What's going on everybody? It's Chris from Out West with Chris and today I want to talk to you about this tent. This is the Kodiak Canvas Cabin Tent. I just picked this tent up um, a couple months ago prior to going elk hunting in Idaho. Um, I wanted to try out another Kodiak canvas tent. I have the 10x14 Flexbow and that has been a great tent for me. Totally love it. Uh, but kind of wanted to try this one out. Um, so I went and picked it up. Um, it, it has a little bit different style. Steeper sidewalls as you can tell. Nice tall ridge through the middle. So it's a little bit of a different style. Sets up way differently than the Flexbow does. Um, I just did a video on how to set this thing up, so be sure to check that out if you're interested in this tent. I set it up with one person. It was a little bit tricky, but it, it can be done. Um, it's easiest if you can set it up with two. I had this tent up in Idaho with me. We got a ton of snow up there. It did great. Uh, the canvas helped lock in that heat when we were running our heaters. The weather up there was pretty gnarly, wet, cold, and this tent did a great job. Snow on the canvas tent. And I hope that held water good. I'm out camping and fishing with some buddies today up here in California. It's a little bit windy, but I wanted to tell you guys about the tent. Right here out front, you can see you have one main door. The door is fully open, as you can see with the bottom zipper and the side zipper. You have this um, little flap that hangs over the zipper area to keep them protected and to keep water from working their way inside the tent. Um, the zippers are a very high grade YKK zipper. And there's some Velcro right here if you wanna to totally seal up um, these door spots on the tent. Let's take a closer look at this zipper right here. See, it's a pretty quality zipper. Nice big pull tab, tabs on the inside and the outside. There's a little bit of rope to it. On this side of the tent, things are a little bit different. Um, you have this large flap right here that opens up. And this becomes um, a canopy, basically. <laughs> it's a little windy. But you can uh, take some stakes and you got a little canopy right there. And then you can use this as another secondary door. So this part zips all the way open. And then that would fold up. So pretty cool. Lots of openness with this tent. Anyways, as you can see, um, you can get a lot of ventilation with this tent. Um, if you do use this as a, a little canopy, um, you know, there is that option. Okay, so let's go take a look on the inside of the tent. It is totally spacious. As you can see, tons of room. I have the camera set up in one of the far corners of the tent. Um, I have a huge cot. This cot is gigantic and it's got a ton of space for this cot. When I was up hunting in Idaho, my brother-in-law each had our cots. One of them was this way. The other one was this way, and we still had a ton of room to store gear, which when you're out for 10 days or so, being able to store gear is a big thing. On this side, you have two full zip down windows. Another one there. As you can see you, um, from the inside, you have this uh, zippered window as well with that nice fine mesh, the no -seam mesh. Um, here, you do have a little storage area for small items. 
and another full zip down window. Now, Kodiak Canvas uh, is pretty well known for having ways to roll up and store your window material um, or your door if you want to keep it open. Um, that's what these are for. Now, as we look at this other side of the tent, um, you have another huge window that you can zip down, um, roll up with the toggles and store out of the way. So all in all, this is a very airy tent. So uh, one thing that some people think about these big canvas tents like this is that they're too warm in the summertime. That's just not true because all you have to do is zip down these windows and you're gonna get a ton of air movement. Up here at the top of the tent, you have a little uh, loop that you can hang a lantern. Um, I wouldn't hang a gas powered lantern, anything that puts off a lot of heat, um, that could be an issue. But if you have an electric lantern, you can hang it from there. You also have little rings throughout the tent. Um, I tied some paracord up on one to a far one and was using that when I was in Idaho to help dry clothing. Um, but theoretically you could uh, tie from that side to that side. And unfortunately, unlike the Flexbow tent, you don't get the two additional features that you do with the Flexbow tent of the organizers and the loft um, area. So that's kind of a downer, but all in all, um, this tent is just as good as the Flexbow tent in my opinion. So as you guys can see, I am standing in the tent. I'm six foot tall. I can go all the way over to the side before I hit my head. And in the middle, I mean, I have a ton of headroom. That is huge for me when it comes to tents. I love being able to stand in my tents. I don't like to have to stoop down or crawl around on my hands and knees. It's just no good. Um, I don't like that. As you can see, a lot of points where there might be stress, you have double stitching. So right under here, that is stitched up. And then you have this area stitched up as well. If you look through this tent, you can just tell that it is well made. And that's one of the things I love about these Kodiak canvas tents. The floor, um, pardon my uh, mess, but the floor is a nice, super heavy duty, thick uh, plastic. And this floor, you know, it, it doesn't get punctured. It's w totally waterproof. Um, it's, it's a great flooring material. It's really thick. It is one of the reasons why this tent is super heavy. Okay, so to sum things up, I really like this tent. I'm looking forward to using it for years to come. Um, I loved my Flexbow tent. It was just time for something new, you know what I mean? Something, a little change of pace. I use my tents quite a bit. Um, I camp quite a bit, so I get a lot of use out of these and I'll be using it in warm, conditions in very cold conditions and so far in very cold and wet windy conditions this thing has done excellent it stayed dry kept us warm and didn't fall down so that's a good thing another nice little feature is this electrical in and out uh, little spot so if you have uh, a generator and you want to run something inside of your tent um, that requires a power cord. Really, really easy to do so with that little slit right there. This is not a backpacker's tent and you know, it takes some um, work to move it around. Um, it, it's definitely a car camping type tent or a base camp type tent. Um, if you have a, a elk camp or something like that, that's kind of where I see the Kodiak canvas really excelling is as a four season tent. All right, guys, I think I covered pretty much everything. Um, you know, look, like I said before, looking forward to, to using this over the next few years. I will do some updates as I use it. Um, check out that how to set up video just so you know what it entails when you have to set it up. All right, everybody, that is the Kodiak Canvas tent. Um, it's gonna run you around 500 bucks, but it can last you a lifetime if you take care of it. Yeah, I like it a lot. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for getting out west with Chris.
<laughs> Do you want to bring your kayak up? No, I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> it was a conveniently placed bench. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I didn't know if you were just waiting for me to finish up or what. Did that dude in the boat out there run aground or something? <laughs>